Here we go. Hello, welcome to another video, cooking video. Today I'm going to attempt to make a uh, couple crab cakes. There's the crab meat. And uh, in addition to some pan fried walleye that a friend of mine sent me. It's in this baggie here. <laughs> Um, so we're going to have, um, pan fried walleye, crab cake, and poached eggs. I got the, the water on there. So I'm going to start with the, uh, the crab cake mixture, and then it's got to go in the back in the refrigerator for like 30 minutes. So that's what we'll do first while we get everything else ready. Here's what we got. We got the crab meat. We got... A nice large egg. We're gonna crack that on in there. We got this is um, Primal Kitchen, same thing that I, uh, the same brand as the uh, barbecue sauce that I've used, and this is avocado oil mayonnaise. So it doesn't have any of the sketchy vegetable oil stuff. And hopefully this is enough because I'm right at the bottom of my jar. That's it for the mayonnaise. Next we have Dijon mustard. And as you can see, I'm not measuring. As usual. <laughs> per my winging it. Um, I do have a recipe over there, but I'm not even going to worry about it right now. We're just going to do it like this. Because this is the way I do it. For seasonings, I have Old Bay. Can't have crab, crab cakes without old bay. And I don't even know how much I'm supposed to put in there, but let's just douse it. I'm gonna put a little extra salt. Redmond, real salt, sea salt. The salt I use in everything, including my drinking water. Um, and then as a, instead of cracker crumbs, or some other horrible uh, starchy carb. We're gonna use uh, pork panko, zero carbs. It's just pork skins and pork fat. We're just gonna dump that on in there. We're gonna mix it up and see what the consistency is. Well, that made more than I thought. I will start, I, this, is, um, this is actually canned crab meat. And I used two cans. Um, I start out with one and I thought, man, it doesn't look like enough. But this looks like it can make several. <laughs> or maybe just one huge giant one. Let's put some more of this in there. Let's make it extra special. Oh, I wanna put some pepper in there too, just, just to do it. I don't know if that might be messing up. Who knows? You never know when you're winging it what's going to mess it up, right? Okay, now I'm going to smell it. Hmm. I think this is going to be good. I'm going to put a little bit more of this in there. Okay. 
yeah, the consistency is pretty nice right now. So, you see what that, see that is uh, nice and thick. So, um, I'm gonna stick this in the fridge and we'll be back with the walleye. Well, I'm gonna form, form these into patties and then we're gonna work. Sorry, I'm talking to the, you're, I'm talking and you're watching my midsection. Um, yeah, so we'll be back. An afterthought, I'm gonna add a little Parmesan cheese to the, to the crab cake mix. It's not in the recipe, but I just had that thought like, hmm, that might be kind of good. So we're just gonna add a little bit of this grated Parmesan. So this is my, my own version of a crab cake. Just a little bit more. Well, I got bacon frying back there in case you, you're hearing that. Gotta have bacon. Okay. There, now back into the refrigerator it goes. All right, I've got the walleye fillets and I'm just gonna lay them on this paper towel. Try to dry them off a little. My cat would like that juice. I'll see. Um, I have also, while I was waiting on the um, crab cake to mixture, I've got two eggs. I uh, put them through the strainer to get the extra, ex excess fluid off of them. So they're ready to be poached. All right, we got the crab cake mixture here. It's nice and cool. There's, there's Smokey. She's drinking the walleye juice. Okay. All right, these, pat these dry. There we go. Now we're gonna put some lemon pepper. It's not coming out very well. I don't know. I think it's old. Probably time to buy some new lemon pepper. Get both sides. Yeah, that is not coming out very well. God. Plus my hands are wet. <laughs> my hands are always wet. All right, so much for the lemon pepper. What we got, we got a couple pats of butter. We're gonna throw one in the pan, throw the fish on top of it. And we got the, um, my little burger dome. We're gonna put that over the fish to sort of steam it in the pan. And one thing I gotta do though is turn it up a little bit more. This should do it. So we got two fillets. I'll put a pat of butter under each. We put the lid on top. Can you see me? Probably should have got a close up of that one, huh? <laughs> oh well. 
a little unorganized. As you can see the, the dome. I'm not gonna lift it because I don't wanna let the steam out. So uh, now, bring you down here and you can watch me do the crab cakes, but my hands are wet. All right, we're gonna put gloves on for this because I don't want my fingers to smell like crab. <sighs> crab cake mixture. We're just gonna take some and we're gonna make some crab cakes. It's not the big lumpy stuff like I really would have preferred, but that's what I get for buying it in a can. <laughs> but this will still work. We'll make it work. I mean, the can did say lump crab meat, but I know when I buy it um, a little more fresh, or you know, in those um, in the containers instead of the can, it's more of that big lumpy stuff, which that's what I love. That's really what I love. All right, just made four. So now from now on, I know that one can will make two. That's all I need, because I'm not gonna eat four. Even though this one's smaller. And I didn't time that fish. It was supposed to go five minutes. I'm gonna assume it's been about three. All right, there's our crab cakes. Got the old slotted spoon for the egg poaching process. All right, here we go with the eggs. There's one. I prefer poaching duck eggs. Regular eggs aren't as easy. Not as easy and not as pretty. I don't know why, uh, last couple times I've poached eggs, like that one looks like um, the yolk separates from the white, I don't know why. That one's not too bad, but still, it's no duck egg. All right, we're gonna pull these off, put them back in the dish. a white piece. Let's take that. There's one. Yeah, not the best looking poached eggs. But they'll still taste good. They'll taste like a poached egg even though they don't look like one. Now, we're going to put this on the plate. Well, let me turn that off. It's gonna make a mess on the counter, but. Check out that fish. It's like flaky, crispy. Look at this before I even pick it up because it might fall apart. That looks really good. This, didn't, this only had like a little bit of the skin left on it. I wish it would have had the skin. I really love crispy fish skin. But we 
take what we can get. Look at that fish. That looks delicious. <laughs> now, now we can do the crab cakes and we're gonna put that to keep it warm. You know what, I'm gonna take the smaller of the crab cakes since we got that fish. We'll save the two humongous ones for later. In fact, I could probably freeze these. I'm not sure how long crab cakes take because I don't make them that often. Yeah, I just realized uh, one ingredient I did forget. I was supposed to put parsley in there, but Sprinkle some on top, I guess. You want to just put a little on top. All right, starting to smoke a little. Looking good. I'm gonna put this bacon back in with it. That side looks crispy. I just realized too, I used up all my mayonnaise, so now I can't even make any um, tartar sauce. Actually, that bacon is um getting a little well done. I think I'm gonna take that back off. You see that stuff smoking? What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut this bacon in half. Of leaving it whole. So we got four little pieces. Oh, it's looking good. Look at this. Uh, the parsley did make a difference as far as the looks. So, these are done. Take that off. <clears throat> now, I know you're supposed to be watching me place, do the placement. I got the crab cakes on there. I got the poached eggs. I got the bacon. Now, yeah, this is gonna be a little sparse as far as a plate. Maybe I should have put it on the blue plate. Oh, too late. Cause it's kind of blends in with the color of the plate. It's not that exciting. With the poached eggs. I'm gonna put them on top of the crab cakes. Stuff going everywhere. There we go. You know what, instead of uh, paprika today, I'm gonna try the obey on the eggs. Just to sort of um, bring the flavors together. So, we've got pan fried walleye, lump crab cakes, with bacon and poached eggs. That's a nice breakfast there, isn't it? So let me get out of the way so when I put my my little captions in here, you'll be able to see them. 
Voila! I can't wait to dig into this one. All right, let's try this. I'm excited. <laughs> what do we try first, the walleye or, oh, let's try the walleye. Crispy walleye. Mmm. Man, and that's just lightly seasoned. I put a little bit of uh, parsley on that too, but it's just got the lemon pepper and butter. And it's good. Now let's try the crab cake with the poached egg and bacon. All I can taste with bacon. <laughs> Let me try one over here without the bacon, just to get the crab cake itself. That tastes like a crab cake. I would have preferred the lump, the lumpier meat, but that's still good. And that's with no, um, no breadcrumbs, no crackers, just the pork panko as a um, binder. Mmm. Another winner. So, if you like this video, please hit the thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button in the corner and I will carry on with these things. And until then, delicious!